it's time for Beatrice Senegu's journey. The sighting of a snake usually sends shivers down the spine of many. And the people of Japatra, a town near Adaiso, in the eastern region of Ghana, snakes should not be seen as foes but as friends. Legend has it that ancestors of the town worshipped snakes. And this is Beatrice Senegu's report. My journey to Zapatra was not a planned one. I went to follow up on the story I did weeks ago at Kwesi Tintin in the Eastern region. My host then took me to Zapatra to have a look at one of their inventions. Upon entering the community, I decided to kill two birds with one stone. I am currently at Zapatra in the Eastern region. It is a community with over 80 households. I've been told that for over 100 years, residents travel for about one hour to Adesu to access quality health care. Zapatra is a farming community also in the eastern region. Indigenous focus on vegetables, cassava, tiger nuts and maize cultivation. The population is a little over 300. When I inquired from residents the meaning of Zapatra, I was told it meant a snake that never harms children. The thought that came to mind immediately was why such a name would be given to a town. Hmm. I focused on my mission in the town. Just when I decided to visit the tiger nut farms, I saw this long, big snake feeding on a frog. I was gripped with fear. I then decided to avoid the farms and focus on other things. My cameraman took a leap of faith to get the shots for me. I was told the people of Zapatra migrated from Togo about 100 years ago. Zapatra is the name of my uncle, or oh, simply is my uh, elder father. Yeah, Zapatra means it's a snake, really. It's in that play with kids, but I don't joke with the era. You know, it will too bad to you. That be the meaning of Zapatra. And then Zapatra, it came from Togo. But when he came here, there is a man here called Asari. The land is belong to them. They are gone. And then my uncle came and settled with them. But the later the whole depart, he the one who returned to the village. So I was born in 72, 52, 1972. So when I came, that was there before I was born. The structures inside were mud houses, bamboo and wood. Zakpatra lacks basic amenities like schools. Children in the town walk for hours to Danso or Adenso to study every day. I was told the children are sometimes knocked down by vehicles. If it is a problem too, can knock it about seriously. Some kids are disabled because of car accidents. So we usually wait till they turn 10 years before we enroll them in a school. Any clinic. Madame Millicent Ake has lived in Zapatra for the past 20 years. She is a mother of two. She told me the absence of a clinic in the town is a major concern and pregnant women are the hardest hit. When someone is in labor, we have to walk miles before getting a vehicle to a deso and or to a deso or Boja say. If there are no vehicles, they sometimes deliver on the way. There is no water and electricity at Zapatra. Students here rely on solar lamps to study. They are still working on the electricity. The solar is okay for us now. It has been helpful. 
and all the baha, all the mayan boy, Though some electricity poles and cables have been mounted, work has been halted at the moment. Roads leading to Zapatra is not too good from Adesso Junction. The only means of transportation is by a motorbike. Residents of Zapatra are appealing to government and other benevolent organizations to come to their aid. On my way back to Accra, I kept reflecting on the condition under which the people of Zapatra have lived over the years. I cannot forget the snake I saw and the danger I can pose to residents, especially children. Beatrice Senaju, GBC News, Zapatra. And that was the My Journey segment. We'll take a break here.